On a freezing night in 1959, nine experienced hikers vanished in the Ural Mountains of Russia. When their bodies were found, the scenes were so bizarre that they defied all logical explanations. Tents torn from the inside out, broken bones without signs of struggle, and strange radiation on their clothing. What really happened on that tragic night? Join us as we delve into the disturbing enigma of the Dyatlov Pass incident. Hello curious minds and welcome back to Deciphering Stories, the channel where we explore the most intriguing mysteries and surprising historical events. If you're fascinated by enigmas, conspiracy theories and little known facts, you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our fascinating stories. In February 1959, during the Cold War era, a time marked by global tension and intense distrust between superpowers, a group of hikers consisting of eight men and two women, all experienced students from the Ural Polytechnic Institute, embarked on a ski expedition to explore the remote Mount Otorten in the northern Urals. Led by Igor Dyatlov, the group aimed to achieve the highest certification of mountaineering skill in the Soviet Union. The chosen location for the expedition, the Ural Mountains, is one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world, known for its unforgiving terrain and extreme weather conditions. A few days into the trip, the hikers deviated from their route due to a snowstorm, camping on the slope of Mount Kolatsiakl, known by the indigenous Mansi people as the Mountain of the Dead. This context becomes even more significant when considering the subsequent investigations. At the time, the Soviet Union had a policy of secrecy and information control, especially in cases that could expose weaknesses or failures. This led to a swift official investigation and conclusions that many consider unsatisfactory and inconclusive. After deviating from the planned route due to the severe snowstorm, Dyatlov's group set up camp on the slope of Mount Kolatsiakl on February 1, 1959. The next morning, when they failed to reach the scheduled checkpoint, an alarm was raised and a search operation was launched. What the rescuers found defied all logic and understanding. First, they discovered the tents torn from the inside out, suggesting that the hikers fled in a hurry in the middle of the night without even dressing adequately for the intense cold. Footprints in the snow indicated that the group members tried to walk towards a nearby forest, about 1.5 kilometers from the campsite. The first two bodies were found near an improvised fire, dressed only in their underwear and barefoot, indicating fatal exposure to the cold. Three more bodies were located between the fire and the camp, showing signs that they were trying to return to the tent. Two months later, the remaining four bodies were found buried under the snow in a ravine, about 75 meters from the fire. These bodies had severe injuries, such as skull fractures and broken ribs which according to experts, could only have been caused by extreme force similar to a car crash. Curiously, there were no external signs of trauma. Additionally, some of the bodies showed high levels of radiation, and one was missing its tongue and eyes, adding further mystery to the incident. These findings led to numerous theories ranging from avalanches, confrontations with indigenous tribes, secret military tests, to encounters with extraterrestrial beings. The official Soviet investigation concluded that an unknown and irresistible force caused the deaths, but never provided a definitive explanation. To this day, the Dyatlov Pass incident remains one of the most disturbing and intriguing mysteries in modern history. Several witnesses, including other hikers and local residents, reported seeing orange lights and bright spheres in the sky the night the group disappeared. These mysterious lights fueled theories about secret military tests or even UFO sightings. The hikers' diaries and the photos found in the recovered cameras showed that the group was in good spirits, but some entries and images captured shadowy and inexplicable figures in the distance. One of the last photos taken shows a bright light in the night sky, adding to the mystery. The severity of the injuries found on some of the bodies including broken ribs and fractured skulls with no outward signs of injury, has led some experts to suggest that the hikers were exposed to an explosion or some type of unconventional weapon. The force needed to cause such injuries is comparable to a car crash, but with no visible external impact evidence. Parts of the hikers' clothing showed elevated levels of radiation, something highly unusual and inadequately explained. This led to speculation that the group might have encountered residues from secret nuclear tests or military experiments. The Soviet investigation was quickly closed and many documents were classified as secret. 
witnesses reported that some files disappeared and government officials attempted to silence investigators and victims' families, increasing suspicions of a cover-up. Reports indicated that local animals, such as search dogs, exhibited abnormal behavior when approaching the site where the bodies were found. This suggests that there was something in the environment causing fear or aversion in the animals, another detail that remains unexplained. If you're enjoying this video and want to keep exploring the most intriguing mysteries and conspiracy theories, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Deciphering Stories and activate the notifications. This way, you'll stay up to date with all our fascinating stories. Now let's continue unraveling the enigma of the Dyatlov Pass incident. The case has been reopened several times over the years, with new investigations and theories being explored. In 2019, an official Russian investigation concluded that an avalanche caused the deaths, but this explanation is still contested by many who believe the true cause remains hidden. The mystery of the Dyatlov Pass incident has inspired numerous books, documentaries, films and TV series. The story has captured the public's imagination, becoming a recurring theme in productions that explore unexplained events and conspiracy theories. The case has generated a multitude of conspiracy theories, from encounters with extraterrestrials and secret military experiments to paranormal phenomena. These theories keep interest and speculation high with heated discussions in online forums and research groups. The incident also led to increased awareness of safety in mountaineering expeditions. Although the specific circumstances of the Dietlov Pass incident are unique, the case highlighted the importance of being prepared for extreme conditions and having rigorous safety procedures in remote areas. For the families of the hikers, the emotional impact was devastating. The struggle for answers and justice continues with many relatives still seeking to understand what really happened. Memorials and tributes have been erected in honor of the hikers, keeping the memory of their lives and the tragic event alive. The Dyatlov Pass incident is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of our time, filled with intriguing details and unanswered questions. We want to know what you think. What is your theory about what really happened on that fateful night? Was it an avalanche, an encounter with unknown forces, or something even more sinister? Leave your comments below and join the discussion. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep exploring fascinating mysteries and conspiracy theories, subscribe to Deciphering Stories and activate the notifications so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Share this video with your friends who also love a good mystery. Together, we might get closer to the truth. Thank you for watching and see you next time.